pourquoi les gens ont l'air tristes et sombres Vous posez trop de questions, Monsieur Jones. French New Wave director Jean-Luc Godard first attracted moviegoers' attention by subverting the genres he chose to work in. After updating the crime film with the seminal Breathless, the Frenchman set his sights on sci-fi. He chose to base his production Alphaville on the adventures of the once popular fictional detective Lemmy Corchon. With this Eddie Constantine vehicle, Godard managed to bring an analog art house aesthetic to a type of cinema known for its futuristic design. This visual language instantly gained recognition from fans and critics alike. Les hommes de votre espèce n'existeront bientôt plus. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? The Matrix looks like a dystopian future in which humans are forced to live in a simulated reality. Drawing influences from both highbrow sources and contemporary popular culture, The Matrix was received as sci-fi for the 21st century back in 1999. Even though the films that make up the rest of the director's mythology failed to impress audiences, the philosophy behind the saga caused such a stir that academic books as well as TV news editorials kept covering it for years. Guns. Lots of guns. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. 1972 Solaris tells the tale of a psychologist sent to a space station to evaluate its crew. Once in space, he is haunted by visions of his late wife, which make him question his past. With Solaris, author Andrei Tarkovsky proved that science fiction could be used as a means of character study. And critics agree that the Russian filmmaker brought a fresh perspective to celluloid examinations of the individual's psyche. Beginning in prehistoric times and stretching through and beyond the space age, 2001 A Space Odyssey focuses on the conflict between a space station crew and HAL 9000, the artificial intelligence that controls the station. Known for exploring high concept ideas in his movies, Stanley Kubrick uses science fiction epic to raise questions about the human condition. And it was his formulist narrative technique which gave it a special place in the annals of science fiction. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Filmed at the famous Babelsberg studio in Berlin, Metropolis essentially tells the story of a romance between members of different social classes. At a time when science fiction was mainly used as an outlet to explore fantasy themes, German filmmaker Fritz Lang decided to use his big-budget production as a social commentary. In addition to being ahead of its time and popularizing Art Deco design in movies, the film's use of sci-fi as a serious statement instantly placed it in a league of its own.